Hey everybody, what's going on? Um, so we've got the Dallas Regional coming up in January, and we're in this kind of really unique spot where uh, the meta's not going to change a whole lot between now and then. We're getting Cosmic Eclipse, um, and that's really it. So we'll have that much time to kind of perfect what we're doing. So again, these Cosmic Eclipse packs aren't available for another uh, 19 hours. We did get a fair amount of them, so we had a uh, League Cup here in town, and uh, Wes and I both ended up taking first, so we actually got a fair amount of packs, plus all the stuff we got with pre-releases and everything, so pretty excited about that, but again, once Cosmic Eclipse comes out, there's nothing else between now and the Dallas Regionals, um, and you know, we don't have you know unlimited funds or whatever to be traveling and playing like that, so um, looking at Expanded, um, it, it is a little bit daunting, just because there's so many different... Um, decks you have that you can look at and so many options and things you need to really be ready for. It's uh, de definitely a scary thing to think about sometimes, but uh, we're going to take our best shot at it anyway. Where are my expanded decks? What the heck? There we are. So this is um, one of the things I'm kind of looking at that's, I think, um, one of the more viable options out there is Dark Box. Um, it's going to get even more viable, again, once we get that red and blue tag team. Um, I've already got a couple copies, need to get a couple more. Uh, I think you'd probably end up doing a, at least two of those here. Uh, and Expanded, it's really great because you can search out uh, Top of Lele GX and then you get the red and blue tag team and you can kind of beat Reef Al GX and everything else like that. Um, again, we got the Shaman, we've got the two Dedene. I'm kind of thinking about cutting it and going to just one Dedene. I know a lot of the Dark Box lists I've seen aren't playing the Weavile GX, but I think it's going to be that much more important once we get that red and blue tag team to kind of accelerate those energies on board. And you do have a lot more mobility like that. So I do like having just that... Uh, it's actually a 3-3 line, because I do like being able to play the, um, the Evil Admonition Weavile in here. Uh, one of the big things we're using for energy acceleration uh, is the Darkrai GX. Again, just because it's that extra energy out in the board. Uh, we've got the Dark Eye Prism Star for acceleration. Also, I really like the Dark Eye GX because of the um, the uh, uh, Dead End GX attack. Sorry, I had to actually get in the screen read it here. Um, just because if your opponent's affected by a status condition, they're instantly knocked out. Um, and against a big tag team that maybe you have a hard time one-shotting, that can be huge. Um, you know, Gardevoir Sylveon comes to mind. Um, and then we've got Hypnotactically sure, to make sure we're kind of getting that status condition on there. So it is a little bit situational, but I definitely think it's uh, something you can pull off. But anyways, let's go ahead and get some matches. Nothing here is too outside the realm of what you'd see for a um, for a build in uh, for a build in Expanded. Again, you have a lot of the same stuff. I'm not running the Dark Patches, I'm running the Max Elixirs. Uh, dark Patches, I was running those for a little bit, and uh, honestly, I just wasn't... It was just this dead card in my hand a lot, because I'd have all the energies already on the board. So, just looking forward. Uh, I know this, uh, the switch is... The, the, uh, the eject switch here is a little bit situational, uh, but there are a lot of things that can shut off abilities and expanded, uh, and if Weavile gets shut down, it is nice to kind of have that. And I don't really need the computer search. Uh, I think between the two Shaman and the two Dedene, I'm able to get those that consistency and see the cards I need to see, so I'm not too worried about playing that. So, without further ado, so let's go ahead and hop in the ladder and see how this goes. But yeah, Dallas is going to be a little bit easier for us just because we do have some uh, friends there that we're going to be able to crash with. Um, I'm not, you know, we haven't been to a, a big regional like that before, you know, we've done the League Cups and stuff where it is kind of that nine-hour day playing Pokemon, but, uh, you know, I've got, you know, Moses and I have been talking about all of it, and he's definitely, um, you know, he, he's done that kind of playing the circuit sort of a thing before, so let's see if we can't find a match here and just see where this goes. All right, and so this is interesting, so we have Psychic... Normal, fire, and dark. So if we were playing in standard, I would be go ahead, uh, going ahead and assuming that that's a new box of some kind. 
Uh, but again, an expander, there's so many different options and so many different decks your opponent could be playing that kind of trying to predict that uh, is definitely something I'm still having trouble with. That is a pretty rough opening hand. I'm not really happy about that, but you know what? The opponent had a mulligan, so it could be a lot worse. The problem is I don't... I guess I don't mind playing the Juniper if nothing else pops up. Uh, and the main reason for that is because we're an expanded and we've got um, Versus Seeker, so we can get our supporters back out of the discard. Uh, that's one of those things I have to keep reminding myself of. So we are seeing the Giant Hearth here. Oh, wait, more than one mulligan? Is it just one mulligan? Okay. Seeing the Giant Hearth here, seeing the Trainer's Mail, not sure what we're looking at exactly. But, uh, okay. So I think if we don't get another basic coming up here. So I think Juniper is going to be the right but we just attach from the Juniper and we hope we find something else. Do you want to draw another card? Please be a basic. Nest Ball! Okay. Not upset with that. So this is like an expanded Reshazard. Okay. Uh, that's not too bad for us, I don't think. Uh, we know they're not going to be playing anything to shut... Oh, nope. This is Mew Box. Okay. Interesting. I'm trying to think of how we want to go forward with this. What's the smart play here? Again, with new box, we're, I'm pretty comfortable with the notion that they're not going to be shutting down any of our abilities, so that's a big help. But uh, I'm trying to think of how we want to play this out. We can, with the Greninja, if we can get enough energies on board, um, the Greninja play, to knock out one tag team, and ideally, if we can stream attackers and we don't get one shot ourselves we could get something going with that. So it looks like they're weldering to the Zard, which is actually preferable. I'd much rather see them... Oh, wait, no, they're not. I thought they are playing the welder. They're just getting it. Okay. Uh, definitely a good play for my opponent. And there's the Mew Mewtwo. Uh, if they welder to that, that's going to be a lot scarier. And obviously that's probably what they'd want to do, to welder that. We know they have the two fire energy in hand already. Uh, that Charizard... The Charizard GX already being in the discard pile is a little disheartening just because they're going to have a one-shot on one of our tag teams no matter what we do at this point. I think we nest ball for the Greninja. Those are our Greninja. I think that's the right play. We have the Weave Island hand. Oh, see, now I really don't want to... Okay, we're going to go ahead and nest ball. We're going to see who's actually hanging out in here because we only play the two Weave Islands. So if one of them's not in deck... I mean, Weavile's not, like, the, the main thing we need to win here. But there's another one in deck, so I'm kind of comfortable letting one go. And I think we get the Zoro Ninja so we can start setting up. Um, there's definitely the temptation to do the Trainer Lock with, uh, like, a Dark Moon GX or something, but I don't think we're going to have the option to do that just yet. And I think Juniper's the play of the year. Just need to see some more cards. I don't like discarding the Weavile there, but worse things have happened. Okay, we've got the Floatstone. I kind of want to put that there just in case. No, we'll put that here. And again, we're playing a meta now where we need to be watching out more for uh, Guzmas again. You know, uh, getting a double custom catcher playoff is not always an easy thing to do, but getting a Guzma playoff is super easy to do. So, um, when you've got stuff like Tapu Lele GX, and you've got stuff like Versus Seeker, finding a Guzma is not hard at all. And see, I don't want to disc... We already discarded so many energies before, and now I'm wishing I played the Dark Patches. You know, this is one of those... How many energy already in the discard pile? There's two already. That takes us five energies in the discard, so as much as I want to put the Dedenne down, I'm sure my opponent's sick of me um, going on like this. I think we just go ahead here. I'm going to pass. I want to attach at least another one of those energies this turn. It doesn't feel great. Pretty rough having to play so conservatively. Um, but I really don't want to lose that many energies. We do play 12, which is a pretty healthy number. But we... Okay, so if they take out the Sneasel, that's actually totally fine right now, I think. I'm not super worried about that. Because if there's enough dark energies in the discard pile, we could do a play with the... With the uh, Dark Ride GXs. So, the Mysterious Treasure. Okay. Oh no, they're. See, I keep. I gotta pay more attention here. I 
What are we seeing them do here? Is this the... See, that's interesting. Are they going to play like a Lysander? Like, do they want to waste that attack on just this little Sneasel here? Do they have an attack that can take me out? That'd be absolutely hilarious if they've got all those energies on there and can't take me out. Well, they could Flare Strike, so... A flamethrower, okay. Yep, that works too. Um, so, getting enough going here... not a great opening, obviously. Please don't draw an energy. you got to be kidding me. Oh my gosh. Okay. Not thrilled with that, but you know, sometimes people don't think Pokemon be like it is, but it do. So, please, I need a supporter. I need, I need something here. Okay, this is not awful. Um, so we can go ahead and do something to discard him with. That'd be, oh wait, no, we're going to discard him with Brigalance. Yep. I'm not upset about that at all. Get that out of the deck. Um, and I could... I don't want to do the Guzma play right now, I don't think. Let's see what our options are. So we've got the Versus. We have two Versus Seekers in hand. I don't want to discard anything else. Uh, but I do want him there. And There's not a whole lot else I'm going to really need to discard this... Um, because the Colrus is already in the discard pile. There's not a whole lot else I really want to lose at this point. Um, we've only got the one other battle compressor right now. Not a whole lot else that I really want to lose. Um, get the N, and it's not terrible here. And go for the, the other Professor Juniper in there, I guess. Is that the right play? Oh, there's so many things going on in Expand, it's just... Crazy trying to get them all figured out here. Um, so let's go ahead and get these two guys out. The discards, so we just get that many more energies in the field. And I think we versus Seeker for the N. I think that's the right play. only four energies on the board, which is not a lot. Um, this is as many energies. It's just from that Pokemon to my adventure. So, I think attacking with the Greninja is the right play here. Um, I think we do. And our opponent's already got five cards, only got five cards right now anyways, but we'll be able to see a couple of extras. Now, do I make that play with one of these guys? Dead End GX? I mean, I could try and dead end GX. If I N, I could dig for... See, there's too many things I would need to be able to dig for to do that. I don't want a dead end GX. That's actually not the worst play I could do here. Like, I'd try to do it. That'd be really busted if I could pull it off. Yeah, you know what? Um, we're going to be weird here. We're going to see what we can pull off. And then let's go ahead and just end, yeah. We basically need Skyfield, we need Shame, we need to find that we know the Hypnotoc is in deck. Okay, we're getting max elixirs here. This isn't not good at all. This is actually really terrible. Um, <laughs> Alright, we do hit the max elixir, so that's fine. Alright, on this guy here. Let's do another max elixir. What I wouldn't give for a Skyfield right now. But we're getting enough energies onto our guys. We're going to be able to at least stream some kind of attackers. We'll get him on the discard next turn. I'm not thrilled with this, but we are actually softening up the Mewtwo. Um, so it, even if we can't one-shot next turn, we only need to be able to do 140. And just given the nature of how this deck works, I don't think that's going to be too difficult. What is Flamethrower doing? How much damage does Flamethrower do? They, they do 140. So they have to do... They're not going to want to Flare Blitz GX here. And I don't think they're going to want to... Oh, wait, no, what does that thing do? Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, goodness. So, yeah, so we're seeing... And then this guy does how much? That's if they use... That's if they want to use their GX. I don't think they want to use their GX on this guy. I don't think they have anything right now... It's going to take a knockout. Um, unless they want to burn their, their uh, Flare Strike here. They're putting a lot of energy in this one Pokemon. 
Oh, they're trying to GX attack. Oh, okay, there it is. So now they're healing all their damage. And what's the other effect of this? There's at least one extra damage attached to it. Yeah, so they can get the extra effect here. So, not great. Um, but that is their GX attack, so we know they're not going to be able to one-shot any of our tag teams after this, unless they can get some extra damage on the board. So that's actually really ideal for us. So not a bad spot to be in. We're going to get at least one extra energy on the board with this. Yeah, and see, they're deliberating. Do they burn their GX right now, take the two prizes? Um, okay, they are. Completely fine. We'll put our Zora Ninja up. Even if we end up not wanting to attack with him, even if we don't want to attack with him this next turn, uh, we still have. I don't want to put the Dark Arrows. Right I want to put down. I think the Shaman's the smarter play because I don't want to discard any of this stuff. So let's attach for turn. Are we going to get a Weavile into play ostensibly this game? I kind of don't think we are, but I also don't want only draw three. I think... I, just, I do need to see more cards, though, right now. So, it's a bummer. We're getting zero Weaviles into play this game. They're all going to the discard, and I don't run. Um, I can't remember. Okay, we have the Skyfield, though, so that's cool. Alright, we'll run with that. Skyfield's not bad to have. Um... Stealthy Hood here. Uh, I, mean, I, I don't know how relevant Stealthy Hood is in this game. Let's put the Sneasel down. And let's go ahead and... Versus Seeker and get that end back. And uh, hopefully limit the options that our opponent has. We know they already did their GX attack. So they're not going to have as many options going forward. In terms of one-shotting us. So even if they don't one-shot us here. Which... They need the lot. I mean, yeah, I guess I have to remember there's all these different damage modifiers in this meta now, so... It's really hard to keep track of it, but I think we're just gonna have to try and get the damage down that we can. Do we Ultra Balls? Is there anything I want to Ultra Ball for right now? Is there anything else I want to see? I don't think there is, but um, I don't want to burn that Guzma. That Guzma feels like it's really good to have. Um, I think we burn the Cherished Ball. I don't want to burn the other... I think we can burn the Sneasel. Because, again, we've only got the uh, one other Sneasel left in the deck. Let's Shaman. Just to see if we can more cards here. Now let's bring this guy back from the dead. Just so we have that extra energy on board and we're doing a little more damage. Right. Six energies in the discard. That feels terrible. So we have one, two, three, four, five energies in play really great if we can find a Max Elixir or something here. Yes. Oh, and now we get the Hypnotoxic Laser. <sighs> well, I mean, it was always going to be kind of a long shot, but get it before. Um, and yeah, yeah, we'll just go ahead and attack here. 180 is not great, but again, I don't think our opponent can one-shot us, and they've really kind of put all their eggs in this one basket. They've already done their GX attack. Oh, there goes Skyfield. Shoot. Okay, um... Lose the Shaman. Lose the Dedenne. Lose the Dedenne. And that takes us back to five. Okay. Now I'm upset with that. And we've got another Skyfield in hand, which again, I'm really glad we saved that. Cherish Ball, that's probably... That's gotta be for Dedenne. Or a sh oh yeah, they can't get Shaman with that, so it's probably for Dedenne. This is actually really close to a standard build. I don't think I've seen that much here that's from anything else. Um, have we seen anything that's like specifically been for for expand? I think our opponent is playing a standard deck here. They're they're playing this is not the expanded deck, which is uh, hilarious in a lot of ways here. So. We know that that's going down. We know they've got a one-card hand. So let's get rid of Viridian Forest. So they're not getting more energies. Um, I know I'm taking the knockout this turn. Uh, but I really... Oh, what I should I should have used the Viridian first. Um, we just need one more energy. 
and then we could take the um, take that knockout with. I'm not gonna put the skyfield down. We just need one more energy on him for next turn, and with the prismatic laser, we can knock out one of the tag teams. We have to have we have the Guzma in hand. Um, let's just see a couple more cards here. I don't think we're gonna need either of these guys for us in the game. Although I think we're out of Pokemon. We are out of Pokemon. Great. One max elixir, one energy. Okay, so we've hammed through a lot of our deck here. Uh, that's a little scary, but we're also going to see some prizes this very next turn, so still have some options. So let's just go ahead and Dark Pulse for that knockout, and then our opponent doesn't... Unless they've got like a really flame supporter, or they've got a really outstanding top deck, I don't know that they're going to be able to really make up for anything. Max elixir, okay, so we... I think we're guaranteed game at this point, right? Because uh, we just Guzma up one of either of those tag teams. We Hypnotoxic Laser. Uh, we max oh, max Elixir to him first because we know there's going to... Oh, there's a Cynthia. Okay, that is that is what you call a good top deck. That said, we know our opponent's not going to be able to play a Welder or anything because they just played Cynthia. So that's their attach for turn. I don't think they're getting any big attacks. What does this guy do? Breakdown for each of them. opponent's hand, but one damage counter. That's fine. That's completely fine. That's going to do almost no damage to us, and they've already GX'd. So they don't have a lot of options here, which is great for us. They are getting a bunch of acro bikes. They are kind of starting to see a lot more cards from their deck. Reset stamp. That's awful. Um, that said, we've got a really small deck right now, so we're okay here. This is perfectly fine. Yeah, we've got this. Is we still have game? Okay, no worries. Uh, we have not GX'd yet, so attached to our guy. I'm going to go ahead and retreat. Very strange. I wonder if our opponent like accidentally... Um, yeah, we don't need to waste time for anything else here. Uh, I wonder if they like accidentally clicked on GX. They accidentally clicked and put their match in expanded, because there was nothing expanded to that deck. That was a completely standard deck. Um, so, to say that's like a good matchup, um, you know, Mewtwo Mew has some really terrifying tools at its disposal and expanded, so uh, a win's a win. I'm not upset with that, necessarily, but um, I do want to see how this deck goes against other things that are truly in expanded, because that's really what, again, that's all we're playing against in Dallas. Um, and again, we've got to think about it, I need to think about a deck that uh, West can play. Uh, so I basically need to build two decks. We might build, you know, one of the same thing, or two copies of the same deck. Not really sure. Um, but we don't have as much so we're, uh, colorless and fire. We don't have that many of the older cards that are really relevant in the expanded meta. So, uh, and again, like I said earlier, we don't have infinite amounts of cash. So the idea that we're gonna somehow be able to find a whole bunch of stuff and pay for it all out of pocket. Uh, you know, obviously we can trade for some cards, we can find some stuff here and there. But, um, you know, managing the budget, managing everything, but also being able to have two viable decks for uh, the Dallas Regionals is definitely something we're... Oh, man, that's terrible. What an awful opening hand. Um, I'm gonna hang on to him just for way to discard him. That's awful. Wow. Okay. And we're going first. We need a really Flames top deck right now. Literally any of my draw supporters would be great. Um, you know would be really good here is actually a Dedenne. Well, that's terrible. Wow. Okay. Um, put on a Stealthy Hood. I don't want to put him down because I want to be able to discard him at some point. I don't think... This looks like a Reshazard. Like, do you... Do, do, is that something people do when Expanded? Still? Like, just like a, a Green's Reshazard? Is that something someone would do? Yeah, I think we're just going to have to pass. Um, don't feel good about doing that, but here we are. Now, why does our opponent... So this is a, gre a Greens Reshazard in Expanded. Is somebody else playing a standard deck in Expanded again? That'd be wild. We really need a good top deck here. Yeah, Fiery... Oh, okay, so I got the... Na oh, I get it. So they're just playing it like they would have played it pre-rotation. Okay, I'll buy that. Um... One of my better, uh, I, the first time I won a League Cup was with uh, Green's build of Freshers Art, so. 
and it was again pre pre or, uh, pre rotation. So yeah, that, and that's one of the huge benefits of going second with uh, Green Dresher Start is you get to do that Flare Starter attack, and you get all those energies on board. It's actually puts a lot of pressure on us because our opponent just needs an energy in hand and a welder and we're going to be in a rough shape or in a rough spot here. But this is actually really great because we can use this to grab ourselves if we go for the Dedenne or not. Do the Dedenne or do we get the Shaman? I think well, we really need to see more cards here. I think we're going to go for the Dedenne right now. Um, oh wait, no, he's got the God bless America, he's got that stadium down right now. So any kind of ability draw. Hang on. Does this just shut up? EX and GX abilities? God bless America, that really stings. Um, God, we really seem to draw cards right now. Um, so we can't even get our guy out right now. That's awful. That feels really terrible. Um, at least get an extra energy into play. Did I already attach for time? I discarded one, so I think we go for this guy. Yeah, I hear the timer. Not really happy with that. That was pretty terrible. Um, can we do our guy though? Can we still? Because it's letting, it's showing we can. Um, I guess it doesn't count as being in play. It's in the discard, right? That's kind of wild that we can still do that good chance that our opponent's just kind of scratching their head right now, but, you know, I'm not that worried about it. Um, we're taking the knockout on this guy right now, so that's a prize. You know, not that that was ever going to be a huge thing, uh, taking that single prize, especially against a deck like this, where our opponent uh, could very easily make us take seven or eight prizes, because we have to basically take down you know, two Volcanions and two Reshazards. Um, Kind of rough day. Professor Kukui. Oh! I forgot. They have Professor Kukui, so they just need to attach for turn, which they're obviously going to get with the Fiery Flint, and that's going to really sting. And I don't think we have a good out for this right now, uh, just because they've got that stadium down. We need a really great draw supporter. Um, we are two turns deep, and we've seen zero supporters, so definitely not a great way to be going about this game. Um, that Kakui is really going to hurt, but I mean that's, that's what it's there for, it's there for your math. It's not there to draw the two cards. We've got another Volcanion down, and we don't have yeah, we don't have a response for any of this right now. Um, and they could still very easily GX us next turn, uh, taking three pro- I mean they have a massive hand, we know they just fiery flinted, so the idea that they could just welder for two next turn and take out another tag team is... Uh, a very real possibility, so I think we have to put this guy up and just kind of buy time, which feels absolutely terrible. Oof. Okay, um, but we have the Versus Seeker here. Actually, this is great. This is fantastic. So we can end our opponent here. Um, we have the Versus Seeker. So that's our one and only saving grace. And, um, just sort of getting energies in the field. Let's get... Guys, and let's get so we have the other versus seekers. Um, I kind of want to put one of the Kuzmas down there, just in case we want to go pick that up later. Alright, um, we are definitely burning through the clock right now, which is not great. I'm not putting the Trantar down, it's incredibly dangerous. So we're going to end and make sure my opponent has very few cards. We're only getting five, but that's still way more than we have right now, so. Not too upset about that. Okay. This could be a lot worse. Could be a lot better, too. I think the correct play now. Um, let's put down the sky field. Now let's put the float stone on this guy. Attach the horn. I'm going to go ahead and... Actually, we should have, we should have waited, could have at least gotten an attack off on him with the two-prizer. Um, not too late for that now. But we can make sure our opponent doesn't get to play any supporters this next turn. And that's actually pretty big, so we know they're not going to get that welder playoff, even if they have one in hand. 
So, just move that energy there, and we're gonna... It doesn't feel great burning our GX attack, especially when we've got a one-card hand here, but... Sometimes that's all we can do. So, they can't play any trainers. They can do a really... pretty gross amount of damage to us right now, and that doesn't feel great. But they can attack, so I would imagine... They're going to Flare Strike here. That'd be the smarter play. I guess the Nook could take an Outrage now. And really, either they could go either way. They're just one away. Yeah, so, we, again, are in a really bad spot. We need an excellent top deck. And do not get it. That is pretty much a bummer here. Uh, so let's go ahead and just get the Float Stone. We retreat to our no energies. I'm moving. Let's hope we get a max elixir off of this. At least get a little bit of something happening. And again, our, our opponent could very well have a Guzma in hand or something. Um, if they do, you know, that's that's the way it goes. And that's what it is. But I don't want to see them be able to take us out right now. So if we left him there, all they need is that one energy, and they've got... Actually, they don't even need any energy. They just... Um, they just uh, flare strike us, and that's it. So... Let's see how this goes. So they're getting those two extra prizes. It would be hilarious if we end right now. That'd be great. That'd be ideal. Um, but it also means they can't Flare Strike us this next turn. They're down to one prize. I'm assuming they're giving us a smiley face because they've got game somehow here. Um, which, yeah, they absolutely have game. There's nothing we can do right now. Um, that's, yeah. Man, they are really going ham with that smiley face, but you know... Flare Strike for the game here, so... Actually, Flare Strike doesn't get them game. They need another energy. Um, they've got a sizable hand, so they might get it. Yep, there it is. So, that's well played. Good game. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. Alright. So, again, two matchups that weren't really exactly expanded. Um, you know, there's all these weird expanded combos I'm terrified of seeing. You know, that weird Raticate thing that, uh, with Hit and Toxic Laser. All these different things that you see. So, interesting to see where this goes. Okay, now this is going to be something interesting. Electric, Fairy, and Steel. Um, no idea what this is. Electric, Fairy, and Steel. Um, kind of a bummer. If we had a basic there, that would have been a pretty solid over. We would not have been upset with that. Um, you know, the Battle Compressor and the Versus Seeker in there. That would have been great. You know, that's not awful. I'm, I don't hate it. Um, start with Are we going first or second? I can't remember. I'm going to put either of those guys down right now. Ooh, so Picaram. Alright. Interesting. Okay. This is Fairy. What's the Fairy thing that they're running in Picaram? Wow, okay. That was quick. That's interesting. Um, I don't think what our opponent's doing. Lily for three, not great. Um, but, you know, that's, what it, that's how it goes sometimes. Really weird setup for my opponent. Um, but you know what? We're going we're gonna to make this work somehow. So let's go ahead and get rid of these two here. Ooh, we can actually end and make sure they don't have their guy. So, which I think feels like the right play. So let's get this guy here. Definitely gonna go ahead and end these guys. Um, that's just one of those like weird things where it's kind of like the math. Do I end first, or do I do one of these guys first? I don't think... Because everything I get is just gonna go right back into... gonna go right back into the deck if it's not instantly playable. But I guess I do want to see if I have some other Pokemon I could put down potentially. Definitely, we need to end this turn because we don't want to have the Thunder Mountain. I think we kind of want to the Shaman first to see like a couple extra cards, and if they're not good, then hey, you know what? And we're just going to end anyways. Just four more 
cards. That's actually not bad. Um, I don't love the escape rope here. I don't think I need any of these. Right, do I need any of these? I don't think I do. Let's throw the stealthy hood down here just in case. Um, do I need any of these? I really don't. Um, actually, you know what? I can escape rope and I can actually get an attack off this turn. Um, yeah. At least take out one of the Jirachis, I think. Yeah. So this isn't terrible. So we put him up and then we do the switch. And then we end. Now, that doesn't mean our opponent's going to have that much more of an opportunity to dig through the deck. And find it. The, uh, find their Thunder Mountain again. It's only the one energy. Um, and now we're going to go ahead and try to keep our opponent from having too many options here. Ooh, I don't mind any of this at all. Alright, um, go ahead and Battle Compressor. Dark Cry. Let's get energy. Another M. Actually, we don't need another M. We have the Versus Seeker. The energy and uh, you know having that option for the boost was kind of nice. So we'll go for the Goose Run. Bring this guy back out. Just make sure we have that many more energies in the field. And be able to Weavile with those next turn. So, having the Weavile in hand and the Sneeze on the bench, definitely um, feeling pretty confident with that right now. There's nothing here that's going to really... we need the Stealthy Hood for, right? And I don't want to leave it on something... But, uh... So, we know... And again, they still have the one Jirachi, so they're not in a terrible spot here. Again, am I, am I crazy? I'm not seeing anything here that's expanded. Is everyone just playing standard decks and expanded and I, I just missed the memo? Okay, so I'm assuming that means they've got uh, Coco Prism Star. Oh no, they have uh, Pokecom. Oh no, okay. They don't have a Prism Star. Really? What are they doing? Oh, they're burning just for a Lily. Okay, gotcha. Ah! Nice! Very nice! Okay. They have a Switch. Oh no, that's gonna hurt. Oh, they could GX us right now. Oh, nuts. Yeah, if they do the GX or they get another Electro... Oh, there's a Skateboard, so... Um... Not sure what that's about. Did they misplay? Did they misclick something? Maybe they benched the wrong thing. I'm not sure what that was about. They had the electro power. They a bunch of electro powers. I'm not sure what was going on there at all. Um, I hope they didn't concede on accident. It seemed very quick. Very strange. Okay, let's uh, let's get one more in here. Again. Oh, maybe they realized they're <laughs> no, because they had the max elixirs. I mean, we weren't in a bad spot there. Um, you know, getting three prizes behind that quickly isn't great, but again, we have stuff like N that uh, really kind of allow us to come back in a big way. Okay, Electric, Psychic, Dark, and Water. Again, no idea what this is. This could be anything. Okay, opponent's going first. No idea what to expect. Not a great start here, but we've got the, op the option to get a lot of energies in play right now, actually. So, um, not too upset here. So what we're going to do, we'll put the Dark Cry Prism Star down. We won't attach for turn. Um, we'll put down the Dark Cry Prism Star with those two energies. We'll max Elixir, and then we'll just did that. Uh, I wouldn't be... Okay, no, this is that. Okay, I have to remember what this does. This is one of those decks with Sableye. Discard your hand. Okay. 
this I remember I feel like it was a what was that article? That wasn't an article, it was uh PTCG Radio. If you guys don't watch this channel or subscribe to this channel, highly recommend it. PTCG Radio is great. Um, but I think he was talking about a deck like this that did something specific. Um, and I can't remember what it was. But there's some like really obnoxious combo, like some weird lock or something. And I don't for the life of me remember what it was, but you know. We're gonna have an option to see some stuff here though, so as long as our hand doesn't get disrupted, uh, we're not in terrible shape. We'll get a fair amount of energies onto the board. I don't like that we're losing. Okay, what does this guy do again? This player can't have more than three bench Pokemon. That's terrible. Okay. And that one. Okay. That's awful. Uh, gotta find a counter stadium. Only three bench Pokemon. That's really terrible. Okay. So. So having all those energies just on him does make me a little bit nervous, especially for discarding Weavile and don't know if there's another one in deck right now. So we're going to see. We really need to find that counter stadium, honestly. Um, yeah, see, this is really scary. Um, <laughs> okay, let's max Elixir again, maybe? Polaris isn't going to get us a lot. Um, like, at all. What does this do? Yeah, that's awful. Uh, we need to see... We're not going to get much of an attack off right now. Anyways. We only have three benched, and now we honestly need to see as many cards as possible to find a counter stadium. So, here's hoping. No counter stadium. But, okay, that's actually not terrible. Um, let's chorus really quick here, just in case. He's having the weave out, or having the sneezle down. It's not great, but it's not terrible either. We okay, yeah, no, we attach for turn up top. That was fine. Um, so we retreat here, and we can uh, just take a knockout. Another guy with the energy, so that's fine. Totally fine. And then we have an end to draw into some cards next turn. Not totally great, but you know what? We're in we're not in rough shape here. I don't know what the Sable Light does though. I gotta remember. Because that's really gonna hurt us later on. Oh, we only draw how many? Ugh. Well, we got the end, so you know what? That's fine, too. Let's just look for anything, right? Oh, for trainer from your discard pond. Really? For a trainer mail? Interesting. Alright, well, we're gonna see what happens here. Oh, nuts. Well, that's terrifying. Um, so what I want to do at this point, then, is bring up that Articuno. And Hypnotic Laser. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do here. Um, and then just put him to sleep. So, yeah. Guzma. If they only have the one bench Pokemon, why does it do that? Hey, it does that. It's really nice. off here. Now, this is a bit of a risk here, because if they wake up, they're in bad shape. But you know what? They might not wake up, because they got to get the double hats, right? Tails. That's fine, because we're getting the Abyssal Sleep off. Um, and they've got to flip double heads to wake up. 
Are you kidding me? That just happened. Wow. Okay. Um, I mean, it's 25% chance. Worst things have happened. We'll see how this goes. Um, God, only having three benched is a big old bummer. But if they don't have the energy they need, because they need to have that, uh, what is it called? Prism energy? I'm assuming that's what they're using. Uh, yeah, prism energy. Floats? Okay, the floats. That's fine. Um, fascinating. See, and that's the thing. Like, I have to always remember like what all these things are. We are behind our practice. That. Mission. Pokemon. Base energy can just. Okay, that's fine. Oh no! This is one of those. Oh nuts. Okay. We are really going to have to work to get something figured out here. I don't want to give my opponent a bunch of cards to just go ahead and do stuff with, because that won't feel good. What? Okay, so he knows what our top deck is now. Um, but you know what? It's fine, because we got the end, so... Oh, it would be really hilarious if he plays the Ultra Ball to have the Garbodor next turn. Hand. Honestly, that's absolutely fine. So what we're gonna get to do here. Do I want to attach for turn? Yeah, just in case I wanna, because then I can retreat. Worst case scenario. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, that's. Oh, we really need that. So. Hallelujah. Um. Put down the sky field. Um, do I want to retreat right now, though? Because we'll at least knock him out. We know he doesn't have what he wants in his hand. So getting the knockout could actually be good. Um, so we can still max elixir. How do you attach for turn, though? Um, if we can dark moon... Man, I really wish we could able to set some other stuff up at this point, but we haven't, so... I don't know what I really want. I think we just... Do we take the knockout here? I think that's the smart play, right? Yeah. The only thing I'm really worried about is that Articuno. I really don't want to find myself getting all four of these energies discarded. Um, this stuff would just be really difficult to you know, kind of come back from. But we're taking another knockout, and it's got some energy. I think this is the right play. Is because he's probably gonna use that Ultra Ball before too. I don't love this. We're gonna see what happens here. So he's gonna say why. And is this the one that shuts off? This one has a tool attached to it. Play and no abilities. Okay. And I don't know if we play. Field blow. Do we? I think we only have one copy of Field Blower in this deck, so not having it is really terrible because that means we basically have to. Honestly, yep, I'm fine with that. Oh, and we're losing all four energy now. God bless America. Oh, that stings. And now we have nobody has abilities. Okay. What is the play? What do we do? Um. I think we're just going to have to kind of lose momentum for a second here. Um, I don't want to... I want to make sure we're at least attaching somewhere. You know he's not going to be able to discard anything else right now. Um, if the Darkrai Prism Star goes down at this point, you know, that's what it is. I don't want to Ultra Ball, because anything I would Ultra Ball for, obviously we're not going to be able to draw anything, so... I think we just pass, because he can't do anything right now. Um, he's basically just locking us. Uh, but again, I don't think he's got any means to be taking prizes against us, like, at all. So, uh, I'm not too upset by that. Now, if we get to that point where there's no more, um, 
where he, you know, he shuts down us having more bench spaces, that becomes problematic. Um, but we could, if we can get somehow top deck a Guzma, actually we, the Guzma, yeah, so we, if we can top deck a Guzma, if we can top deck, Top deck the Guzma or top deck a Versus Seeker. You attach for turn, Guzma that thing up, and be in a good okay spot. What's he looking for? Okay, so he's just getting more cards, that's fine. Counter stadium. Uh, I really don't want him to get rid of our Skyfield, especially not with that, um, that weird double city again. That'd be awful. Almost wants to go for the end. Okay, the reset stamp is. Okay, we know he has the reset stamp in hand. We don't want him to have the reset stamp in hand. I think we go ahead and we. Juniper's the smart play here. Should we get like an escape rope or something maybe? Um, or a float stone. Float stone would also be great. Um. Not affect, whose abilities aren't going to be affected, right? So we'll put this guy down. Pretty comfortable putting that down. Um, who's having a bit? Okay, um. Uh, just for when we actually get some abilities back, maybe. I think we have the is there a Weavile GX left at back? I guess is the question. And there is not. I think, did we discard both of them? I have this really horrifying, like, sinking feeling all of a sudden we discarded both of our Weavile GXs. Uh, which is absolutely terrifying. So, that doesn't feel great, but you know, hey, here we are. Put that down in the sky. And I think we're just done again. Ugh, god, that's awful. Oh wait, no, we could have gotten, like, a Shaman or something. God, I totally forgot. We have... Oh wait, no, because there's no abilities. So it's not a Skyfield issue, it's a Garbotoxin issue. Or, uh, yeah, Garbotoxin? Yeah. Yeah. So we are basically just getting controlled here, and I'm sure this is super exciting for you guys to watch me just struggling against control. Um, super cool. That's... Yeah, this is um, pretty obnoxious lock here. So they, Oof. ah, yeah, that's fine. There was nothing we needed that for, so not too upset with that. This lock. Is... Oh man. Oh no. So they get basically like eight hikers if they do this right, or some some something like that. Okay, that's. That's terrible. Wow. But really, I guess they can cycle them infinitely with that, um... Yeah, so... Oh, wow, so they've really got their lock-in now. Um... This is terrible. <laughs> great. Absolutely great. Um... Pass. Wow. Um... So I'm kind of trying to think of what do we do here. The fact that the Articuno woke up from that sleep was pretty rough. Um, I'm going to have to put it in the minute. We're probably getting hikered again now, right? Oh, no! Okay, so do you guys want to watch this in the hopes that I maybe can top deck something, anything? Like, basically we have to wait for me to have three good cards, like three draw supporters all on top, and for my opponent to let us have all of them. This is awful. <laughs> Done. I'm gonna give this two more turns. If I can get something decent in two turns, um, I'll try and keep playing. Otherwise, uh, with that Garbotoxin sitting there, uh, we're not getting anything accomplished right now. So, wow. Oh, see, this is awful too. Like this is not. 
is something I'm gonna have to watch out for at Dallas. And, like I'm trying to think of like what the optimum play is to deal with this. But this is like one of those locks that like once they get it in, like I don't know how I would. Uh... Oh man, we wanted that versus secret. It would've been great to have that. Bummer. Yeah, this is really uh, terrible. This is hard to. I, don't, I like. I don't even know what we could what we could do at this point. Like, if we could do anything at this point. Again, like I just have to wait for us to have three draw supporters on top of the deck, or like two draw supporters and a burst seeker, or a Guzma, or really anything. Anything would be great at this point. Um, <laughs> oh man, this is terrible. Ball wouldn't have done us a lot of good right now, so not super concerned about that. Uh, basically, I just need to wait until I have three, uh, three good supporters on the top of my deck, which might not happen. So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and don't get something this turn. Call it a day. Oh boy, this is awful. And the thing is, even if we draw something, we need to be really smart with what we do with it. Um, go ahead and evolve this, why not? Reason not to. Um, and let's Ultra Ball, thin the deck a little, or Nest Ball, just to thin the deck a scooch. Um, what's left in the deck? Let's, let's look at that, huh? Goose, there's a Guzma, there's Juniper. You have two Versus Seekers, Scramble Switch, Escape Rope. Escape rope is what I want most, but the scramble switch I'd take that too. Uh, yeah, do that. So honestly, there's a couple top decks we could get that might be okay here. But we really need to be smart about it. We could take three prizes if we could get the scramble switch, honestly. Or the Guzma. If we can get the Guzma, Scramble Switch. Yeah. Now the issue is, do they trick shuffle it and we're toast? Um, like that sort of feels bad, but also not really. Because again, they've got the Garbotoxin down, and we really need that Guzma. Double trick shuffled, or trick shoveled. Oh, this is... Please, not one of the Versus Seekers. Not a Versus Seeker. God bless America. And now we're getting hikered, so... We have nine. Well, we only have nine cards in deck. So the odds that there are three. I don't know. They're bad odds. All the odds are bad at this point. Man, this is really um, painful. Jeez. Please, you guys. Oh man, I don't know what to do here either. This is absolutely terrible. Um, done. And yeah, I could have Ultra Ball just to thin the deck out a little bit more to find a thing. That's probably what I should have done. I'll do that next turn, I guess. Totally fine with that. Of the things I could have discarded, pretty thrilled with it being that. need the top three cards to all be good. There's only seven, what, seven cards left in deck? Yeah, so there's only seven cards, so it's a real possibility that all three could be good. Or he might be giving us an energy. Oh man, he's going to double shuffle us here. So I think we're probably getting decked out. If I were a gambling man, I would guess that's what's happening here. Let's go to an Ultra Ball. Up, up. No Pokemon. We've got two, three, five. We've got five cards in deck. All five. The energy is the Very well, find the energy. Next the Juniper actually loses the game 
faster. We don't want the juniper. Um, all right. But like if the scramble switch, a versus seeker, and a Guzma could be in there, that'd be fan freaking tastic. Oh, there's the last. That, that's our last versus seeker. So we don't have any more versus seekers. So now we need a lot. Not the Guzma. Not the Guzma. Please, I'm begging you. Not the Guzma. That's fine. So he's not hikering here. So that's fine, I think. Ah, oh, it's the Juniper! That's the one that loses us the game, you guys. That one loses us the game. We just lost. Oh, that really stings. That hurts really bad. But you know what? We're going to go on our own terms. Well played. You have a good deck. Oh, that feels awful. Go ahead and attach for turn. Doesn't matter to where because we're toast anyway, but we can um black lands. I mean we take three prizes. We went down to a bunch of you know, we went down to one prize. We are getting decked out. That was utterly brutal. Could not have been worse. Um what I'd love, I'd absolutely love if we could reset stamps. If he like totally miscalculates and reset stamps, but really he just has to pass and that's game. So Oh man guys, that's gonna do it for me tonight. That was uh that was a lot. So <laughs> um thanks for watching. Hope that wasn't too boring watching me uh get decked out in a crazy lock like that. But hey, maybe you guys are uh, I know there's a couple expanded tournaments coming up here in the States, so Maybe uh, seeing something like that uh, will kind of help you figure out how to properly prepare for it. Um, once he had that in, I don't think uh, being able to versus Seeker and that uh, that shovel really uh, really made it impossible for me to get anything out there. Um, losing both the versus again, he was just playing that long game. So I think that's going to do it for me tonight. Appreciate you guys watching. Um, yeah, have a good one, everybody. Take care.